Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Bianchi and we're talking about the Scale It Up project. So we're looking at a template that um, you should have in Google Classroom and the candy that I chose was Skittles. Um, so I'm going to use this as my example, but what you may not know how to do is how to make something transparent. So uh, what I thought I would do is let me just move my Skittles over somewhere to another spot and I have a, a Google image search open here. So let's say we were going to do the M&Ms. So what you want to do is you want to take a copy, copy image, and then you go back to your slideshow, and then you want to paste in your thing. Now, you're probably going to have to crop it. To crop it, you have to select the image, and then this is the crop tool up here, crop it. So to crop it, make sure that your um, mouse turns into that double arrow, and then click and press. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Click and press. And then you want to resize it. And you want to make it a little bit transparent. Now, why do you want to make it transparent? So under the format options, if you don't see this, you can right click to get this to open. You want to um, make it so that the thing is kind of partially transparent. So do you see how right now it's not transparent at all? You can increase the transparency of it. So you, the reason why you want to do that is to make sure that you can see the grid lines. Now, the other thing that I want to point out, I'm just going to make this maybe that transparent. I'm going to move this. Now, the thing you want to choose is you want to choose something that um, will fit on the grid paper. The grid paper, if you look at the grid paper that I have here in the, in the lower corner, I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes by one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So it's basically like a six by six grid because this isn't enough here. So you want to make sure that you resize your whatever it is that you're doing so that it'll fit on this paper. If you want to do something that's bigger or it, it doesn't have, um, you know, the dimensions here, you know, like let's say you need a 10 by 4 grid. You can get poster paper, but you'd have to create the grid lines and each square has to be the same distance from each other. So that means using a ruler and measuring it out, which can be a little bit complicated. So um, I just wanted to show, I'm going to delete the M&Ms because I want to use the Skittles as, as the example here. And if we look at the example here, it does go across. It's one, two, three, four, five, six going this way. And it's one, two, three, four, five going that way. So that's going to work perfectly. So what you do once you have your paper is you want to focus on, um, you know, pick a corner to focus on. Now I'm going to zoom in so that I can focus on that upper left corner. And I'll just pull this thing so we can see. And you want to kind of pay attention to what, so I'm going to draw... In this square, I'm going to put what's in this box. I'm going to try to draw it. So what I see is I see like a little um, red Skittle with an S on it. So I'm just going to try to draw that. And I'll try to put a little S here. I'm not even sure if you can see what I'm... So the S appears to be kind of like this. And then I would color that in red. So you would take out your colored pencils and color that in red. And then it looks like there's a little bit of blue here. So you would take your colored pencils and color that in blue. And then it looks like we have also underneath this, we have an orange Skittle. So you would draw the orange Skittle. It looks like it appears to be about like that. And then it, there seems to be an S on that as well. All right, so then you would take out your colored pencils and color that in. Now in the next square, if I focus just on this square right here, it looks like it's kind of partially shaded in red. So over here, I would use colored pencils to make this part over here red. And then I see a yellow, and then I see part of a green, which ends up going into the next square. And then I see part of a purple, which also goes into the next square. And then you would want to color it in. So you're basically taking one square at a time and focusing on your selected candy, or you don't have, it doesn't have to be candy. If you want to do um, like a, a bag of Doritos or something like that, that's perfectly fine. All right, now when you're all done, this will be a scaled up version of a Skittles um, candy wrapper. Now, the answer to the question, how do you fill in this part where it says, and I'll show you on the piece of paper, it says scale factor. Now, the, really the only way you're gonna be able to fill this in is if you actually have the real wrapper and you would have to figure out like how, what, how much bigger is like the S on the, on the actual original packaging versus the one that you're drawing. And that's how you would figure out the scale factor. How much bigger is it? Like how many times bigger? You would measure the S and let's say it's one inch. And let's say you measure it on your, on your drawing and it's two inches. 
then you, you would know that the scale factor has doubled and you would put that in right here. All right, so hopefully uh, you'll be able to have a lot of success with this project. Um, I would like it colored and you know make it look pretty. Put your name on it. And when you're done um, with the project, make sure you just mark it as done in Google Classroom. And uh, if you change your mind and you want to do something else, like you don't have to do Skittles, just keep in mind you can do any. This is M&Ms. You can just, just look up anything you want, something that would be fun. But don't make it something that's too complex. If there's, like, this looks pretty complex to me if you were to choose this wrapper. Choose something that's doable. All right, hopefully you'll have fun with this project.